Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. Listen to what it says in Matthew chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. This is the parables of Jesus, and this one is on the wedding banquet. Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet and told them to come, but they refused to come. So, he says, the kingdom of God is giving an invitation. There's a, there's a wonderful banquet that is being right now prepared. And uh, the invitation is given. And then he sent more servants uh, to, to those, he said, who had been invited. I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fattled calf have been butchered. And everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his field, one to his business, and the rest seized his service and mistreated and killed them. And he was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murders and burned down their city. So, here we have those who have been given this wonderful Ill, uh, invitation. Some have just ignored the invitation. Some have gone about their business. But then some were actually mistreating and murdering those who had been sent to uh, to the banquet. Can you imagine giving uh, given this wonderful invitation and going about your business and actually killing those who had been sent to bring that? You know what he did? It says he was enraged. He sent his army and destroyed those murderers and burned down their city. There is a time of reckoning coming for those who reject the kingdom of heaven. You see, there are many excuses that we use. Oh, I've got business to conduct. I have a life to follow. I have a certain destiny. And there are those who reject, and those who persecute, and even murder those who bring the kingdom of heaven. He said to those servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those invited do not deserve to come. Go to the street's corners and invite those to the banquet, anyone that you can find. So the servants went out to the streets and gathered all the people they could find, both good and bad, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. But then the king noticed who came in and saw the guest, and he noticed a man who was not wearing wedding clothes. Friend, he asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? And the man was speechless. Then the kingdom told the attendants, tie him hand and foot, and throw him outside into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are invited, but few are chosen. So what is Jesus trying to get across here? I mean, the first part of the parable sounds very, very harsh. And then he goes in and he invites all these people, and as he's going around, he notices this man doesn't have his wedding clothes on, and so the man is speechless, can't say anything, and he has the th person thrown out into outer darkness. And I tell you, it almost sounds unfair. But what was Jesus trying to get across? He says, first of all, the first part of parable is those who are given the invitation. Those who the Lord wants to save, but they get busy with their lives. He's talking about people who are religious. People who look really good on the outside, but inside their hearts are wicked. And they're even going to reject the message and will try to destroy the message. Now, Jesus was obviously talking about his generation. He was talking about the scribes. He was talking about the Pharisees. He was talking about the Sadducees. He was talking about the lawyers of the day, the leaders of the day. They had this wonderful truth, and they, they rejected this wonderful truth. So then he goes on to talk about how that the servants go out there and they find all these other individuals, both good and bad. But he finds one man there without the wedding clothes. Now, obviously, this man knew what he had to come. But he thought, well, you know, I can get in to the kingdom, you know, without doing what is required. What is required? What is that makes you a chosen person? See, Jesus closes it off. He says, many are invited, but few are chosen. You make yourself chosen.
That's what happens. You listen to the message of Jesus Christ. And then what you do is you do what is required. The illustration, of course, was the wedding clothes. There are many people who are invited daily to the banquet. There are many people invited to the kingdom. And they have a multitude of reasons not to come. And then there are those who are invited and they make themselves chosen by accepting Jesus Christ. They clothe themselves in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. They know that the robe of righteousness has been given to them. They purify themselves. They do what is required, and that is believe and receive. This man thought, well, you know, I can get into the banquet, you know, just by my own means and methods. And what happened to him was he was thrown into outer darkness. That's what happened to him. And that's why Jesus says, many are invited, but few are chosen. What you need to do today is make yourself chosen. You make yourself chosen by accepting Jesus Christ and then doing what God requires. And that is by walking in righteousness, love, forgiveness, peace, joy, and mercy. All of those things are communicated to you by the Father. And the resident Holy Spirit living inside of you. The Holy Spirit wants to give you gifts. And He wants to make you fruitful. And what you need to do is accept what has been given to you. Allow the wedding clothes that have been provided for you. So that you can walk and have all the abundance of the kingdom of God, which is righteousness, peace, and joy. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.